Okay, I'm here with a big thrift haul for you guys. I have stuff from thrift stores and a consignment store. Hopefully you guys are ready for a nice long haul. If you are new here, thank you for coming to my channel. I go by the Canary Closet everywhere on all of my social media. You can find all of that information down below in the description. Also down there, you can find Amazon links for all of the products I use. There's a link for the Poshmark automation tool that I use that can help you save money for your first month and as well as a link for the shipping supplies that I used from Gyro Pack. So if you wanna check all of that out down below in the description, otherwise don't worry about it. Give this video a thumbs up and a comment anytime that does help push it out into the YouTube algorithm. And it is a free way to help me on my channel here. If you're new and you like reseller content, you're interested in making more money on your reselling business this year, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell next to it and you'll get notifications every time I put out a new video. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you some really good stuff first from the consignment store, some shoes. Um, if you're interested in anything, please feel free to message me on Instagram. That is the best way. Otherwise, email also works. So a few pair of designer shoes at the consignment store. These are Manolo Blahniks. Super excited to get these. They're a size 38. They are a gray, like T strap, uh, pointed toe heel. So these probably are an older style, but sometimes with Manolo's, they're just like a good classic. Sh I feel like this would be very good for like work, office, career. Um, that's probably some keywords that I will use. So really excited to grab those. I actually got two pair and here's the other ones. These ones are black Manolo's. These are a size 37 and a half. They have this like crisscross open toe detail with the heel um just an open like slip on heel there so super cute they are in pretty good condition like maybe a tiny little bit of scratching on here but honestly really good and then my first time ever selling this brand in shoes it is Mew Mew so this is exciting these are a pair of really cute um velvet bow ballet flats and these are a size i don't know if i can find it let me check the other one there's no sizing on the bottom and i don't know so we might have to measure these because i don't see a size anywhere that's really interesting if you've ever sold Mew Mew shoes and you know where the size would be let me know otherwise i'll probably try to put them flat measure them compare them to other shoes that I've had. I definitely had to do that before, but yeah. So that's the three really good shoes that I got. So excited to get those listed. Ugh. I'm filming this Sunday morning before church because I still have not built up my draft bank very much since I got back from my Disney trip. And I need to take pictures this morning to get my listings done for the day. So I was like, first I want to film a haul. Okay, this, I found three pairs of like horseback riding pants and equestrian pants. And that's going to be, or right now it's going to be a really good time to be listing those. These ones are Devon Air um, fine riding attire. I think I might have sold these before, but I'm not sure. They're a size 26. Um, and usually you will want to put like breeches in your keyword or your title. It has these like little patches for um you know so your legs don't rub against the side of the horse or like so your pants don't wear out there uh so i got those and then i got another couple ones from the brand carrots which i've sold before um so here's what this looks like it's spelled with a k and it has a picture of a carrot and these ones are a size medium so these ones are like a tan color. Then I think I might've got like a black one too. And then their logo is like a carrot as well. And then it says it right there. So good time to be listing riding pants, breeches. If you find any of those, um, I'd say look them up. This is for my brother. It is a men's golf brand called Bad Birdie. Their styles are usually kind of loud and maybe a little feminine-ish, like this is flowers. Um, and so a lot of times they have them in the women's section. Like I found another one that was like a pink flamingo print, but it was in the women's section. Um, but it's a good men's golf brand to look for. Here's the other um, carrots pants. So again, like I said, medium. This one's gonna have like this faux leather look. So I will look up and see. I don't know if they have a style. I don't think they do. Um, it just says like the care tag. So I'll just look them up and see what they go for and get those listed. 
Next up, we have an Under Armour polo for my brother. He lost these together and sells them in the same size. That's nothing special. That's kind of like his bread and butter, I think. Okay, this is a huge bolo. This was really exciting to me. So here's the tag. It's liquid blue. And I feel like when I watch videos and my battery's gonna die. When I started this thing, I had three bars and now it's already down to one. So what? Which really sucks. I'll film as much as I can and then I'll film the rest later. Okay, liquid blue. So I hear the vintage people talk about look for liquid blue, but not all of the liquid blue tags are actually vintage. This one is, um, it is this crazy like dragon uh, long sleeve t-shirt and it's double sided. So this thing is amazing. Down at the bottom here, it says 1994 liquid blue. So another sign that it's vintage. This was in the women's section. If this wasn't the men's, I feel like maybe it could have already been gone. I don't know because I feel like sometimes I feel like I see the t-shirt guys like coming over to the women's section and looking through the women's t-shirts. But I know this was a new color tag. So I don't know. I did some research and some of the like t-shirts were selling for like a couple hundred dollars, which is crazy. Um, so I decided to message Tekken Sports on Instagram. He's super helpful and really nice about answering questions, even if you're not a part of his group. And he answered me right away. He said, this is really good. Don't put it on auction. He said that the prime, he sold these for $400 and he suggested starting it at around 300 and just sit on it for a little bit and see what happens. So that is super exciting to me. It's like going to be my first time selling like a cool vintage piece, I feel like. So sorry to my brother. I don't think he watches my videos, but I'm selling this, okay? Usually I give men stuff to my brother, but I got to try that one out for myself. Okay, next up we have a pair of democracy jeans. I talk about these all the time. People in my TikTok comments were surprised that it sells. Yes, it does. Size 14 ab technology, medium wash. Um, probably like a high rise skinny. Although I'm like, if we talk about it so much then it might get oversaturated, but that basically happens with every brand. So whatever, I'm going to tell you guys what I find and what's selling good now. Um, next up, we have a pair of rock revival. So these aren't going to do as good as most. They're a size 29 to the Jessica boot because they're not very blingy in the back. So the ones that have like embellishments and rhinestones in the back do way better. And these smell like smoke so these are going to go outside last time i put some jeans outside that smelled like smoke to air out it worked but it rained <laughs> and so they got rained on and then they dried out maybe that helped i don't know okay those are going outside that's all for that bag let's hope i can finish a decent amount before my battery runs out at least enough to get up my 16 listings for the day okay oh some of this stuff is from a thrift with me video so you don't need to see that you've already seen that that was those Pilcroy, Pilcroy, Pilcrow corduroy pants. If you guys didn't watch that video, I will link it up here. Um, but yeah, I finally did a thrift with me since you guys have been asking for that. This is a Sundance shirt. I got this yesterday. So maybe this haul won't be as long as I thought because I forgot my thrift with me stuff was in this pile. Um, I think this is a newer tag. It's a cute little like yellowish embroidered short sleeve top. I was looking for spring summer stuff. I found like three things in that store in two hours. So it was pretty trash. Um, not good at all, but whatever that happens sometimes. Ed Hardy. Um, I got this just with like the Y2K style still being popular. It has this Eagle on it. It says true till death. Um, Ed Hardy is a longer T. So We'll try that out for most of the summer stuff. Like, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get shorts, t-shirts, things like that. I'm hoping for like 20 bucks. I just can't sell it as much as the fall, winter, I mean, other kinds of things. So I try to look for some dresses because that can be like a more valuable thing, but it's hard to find like shorts and t-shirts that sell for that much more. These are American Eagle. That is the newest font. They're the mom short and they are a size eight. So I thought about trying these on, but I think they're going to be a little too, ugh, I don't know. I don't want my, I don't want to dress like a 15 year old. They have like distressing in the back, right by the back pocket. So I'm like, um, I'll take like a little bit longer length, please. So I think those are cute though. Somebody else can wear those. And then I got this Alex evenings dress set. This seems to do good around like wedding season because I feel like a lot of like 
Mother of the Bride will wear these. Here's what the tag looks like, Alex Evenings. It does do a little bit better in the larger sizes. So this one's a size 16. It has the lace uh, metallic jacket. And then usually it comes with like a sleeveless dress that goes underneath. So same size here, purple lace and like a satiny long formal dress. So we'll see. I think I sold one recently for 45 to 50. Um, I have sold a couple new with tags for closer to a hundred dollars. So you can kind of, I guess, figure out what you want to do with that. Um, a J crew sweater blazer. Did I show this? No, I didn't. I don't think I've sold a couple recently. <laughs> this one says J crew mercantile, which I think is like, I don't know. Is that kind of like J crew factory or what? Anyway, it's the same design. It's a sweater blazer. I sold one recently for around $50. This is a size medium. It is a tan. Very cute. Maybe I could wear this to church this morning. I don't know. I need something to wear to church, so we could possibly do that. We'll see what I decide. I still pick up coats all year round because why not? Um, this is a J. Crew coat in a size four. This is the city coat. I've sold this plenty of times before. It is a wool blend coat, and this one is green. It is mid-length, um, really nice condition, colorful. I could still people still see people buying this and wanting it for the spring, so we'll see how quickly that sells, but that was a definite pickup at $8. And then I got this Lululemon. There was actually two of these at the thrift store, but the one was in, like, um, not as good of shape. It's a very thick... Um, like longer length sweatshirt, but these snaps actually go like over here. So it's more kind of like a wrap style. And the logo is on the back left, which is basically where it always is. I think this is a size six, if I remember right, but I might not be able to find it right away. So again, if you're interested, just message me and I'll look it up. But yeah, this one is a nice thicker like sweatshirt. The other one just had like a decent amount of wash wear that I didn't really want to mess with. Okay. Um, we have a pair of camo democracy jeans. Again, these are size 12 ab technology skinny. I think camo. I think they have lots of stretch is why people like them. I don't know. I just know they're popular. So, or maybe not popular. <laughs> they sell good for me. Oh, this is some vintage stuff my sister had me get her to sell. So it's this vintage Sockers popple. She said to check the tags if you guys are like everything sellers. Because apparently they've been like remaking some. So, I mean, that's definitely old. My my husband and my brother-in-law had no clue what a popple was. I was like, what? But they only had all boys. And I was like, my brother had popples. And they're like, that's because he had older sisters. And I was like, well, I love popples. Did you guys have popples when you were little? Okay. And then I also got her this. Right when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so familiar. If you guys are like my age in your 40s, does this look familiar to you? It's an alarm clock. And I was like, maybe we had this. But my sister Shobeek sold comps of this for like $70 on eBay. So I'd be giving this to her. And then I also found this old 90s game Heartthrob, which was hilarious. So anyway, that's some vintage stuff I'm giving my sister. She kind of sells more hard goods and collectibles and stuff like that. So we will take that to her at church. Let's keep going, I guess. Okay, this is just a tank top for me. I've been trying to watch some style videos and a lot of people use these with a lot of outfits. <laughs> so we'll see if I can pull myself together. Um, this is a Nokana belt, I think. It's going to be hard to see, but this is like a Western brand. And the Western stuff with like rodeo season coming up is going to do good and this is very blingy and I'm like okay some little cowgirl is going to want this I don't know if I can tell the size um it says N44 I think that's a style number though oh there's something right here 36 maybe or is that a 2 I don't know I'll probably just measure it with my uh, measuring tape and include that but I don't know excited to sell that I don't really sell belts that much this is another alex evenings set so this one is like a gold sparkly set it's missing the size tag so i'll measure it and compare it to other ones i've sold um this one's a little bit more lightweight and then again 
the sleeveless dress that goes underneath of it. So I'll use keywords like formal, dance, mother of the bride, wedding, wedding guest. And hopefully we can sell those in a good amount of time. And then I got these pair of Olakai sandals. I feel like this brand sells better in the spring summer. Maybe because it's more of like a spring summer type, I don't know, brand. <laughs> like I don't think they make boots and stuff. Um, this little hook type thing is their logo. Here it is in the back. So these are men's sandals. They're leather in a size 11. And it says the style like right by the size. So you can look it up super easy. This is my husband's size actually. I wonder if he would want these for like a nicer sandal. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he wouldn't care. My husband does not give a crap about his style. He kind of will wear stuff that I give him, but like he does not care. Um, so yeah, I'm going to guess he wouldn't, but I guess you never know. I got these Justin boots yesterday at a Goodwill. Justin is a Western brand. It says it right inside here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Oh yeah, you can right there. Style numbers inside there, sizes inside there. These are a size 10 D. They almost have like a reddish tint to them. Yeah, they do. They're like a red cowboy boot. I think they're men's. I'll look up the style number to be sure. Cause almost this looks like pink around here. So they could be, I don't know. We'll see what the style number and we'll get that figured out. I have a pair of dance go shoes. I love selling dance goes. Some of the um, styles do better than others. So look up the style number, which in here it has a size. It's a size 39 and there's a bunch of numbers after it. It's like right in here. That's how you can find the style of these ones. I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact style before with the little button. So those should do good. Um, maybe my battery's going to last. This is shocking. Okay, this is a Saks Fifth Avenue, which... I wouldn't recommend getting in most stuff, but it's 100% cashmere, which is why I got it. So it says cashmere, Saks Fifth Avenue, and it is a medium large, and it's a pullover sweater with this buckle detail, um, turtleneck. It's super soft. It kind of has like some cable knit detail at the end of the sleeve. So really pretty. Yeah, 100% cashmere. It doesn't say for that buckle detail if that's real or fake leather. So I think it's fake, but anyway, I feel like that was cute. And I have, I have sold Saks cashmere before. Next up, we have a new with tags, soft surroundings. I've really slowed down this brand. So I'm being very picky. This cost a hundred dollars. It's a surf spray tunic shirt in a size large and it's yellow. So I felt like it has a lot of things going for it. Um, with spring, summer coming up. I like that it's new. It's a longer length and I I think it's cotton, but let me check. Oh, it's a linen cotton blend. So even better. Um, it was, it was uh, just a really cute piece to pick up. So I felt like, yes, I definitely want to try that out. Um, next up is a pair of Lululemon leggings. I'm going to see if Grace wants. They're a size four. They are a little bit of an older style. They have this like gray waistband on the top. If she doesn't, my niece, Emma, might want them. Here's the logo. They are a full length and I think they're still like maybe a high rise. So we'll see. Um, yeah, either one of them, if they don't want them, I'll list them. There is some numbers around there inside the pocket, but not as many. So it's like not the newer one. Uh, next up we have a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. These are a size medium. I think these are their washable crepe pants. Maybe I think they're like their washable silk ones do really good. I think that's what these are called because it's the viscose nylon spandex blend. It's like a classic blend they have for this certain material of pants. So they're just like a pair of pull on classic black pants. And then I also got another pair in green and these have been there for a bit with the color. So I don't know why I didn't see them before. Sometimes I'm like, I know this wasn't here last week because I, at this point, I almost go to every thrift store I go to once a week for the most part. And if I'm not like busy on time, I will look through every single thing. Otherwise, if I'm rushed on time, I try to scan for the last two colors. So like the one that's going out this week and then the one that came out the previous week. Okay, another Under Armour polo for my brother, navy blue, not really something you guys probably are interested in. Okay, this is something that I'm trying out. Comps were pretty decent on this, but I've never heard of it. It's the brand Lychee. 
and it said it's made in Germany. It's a new with tags, extra small beige blazer. And so I looked it up and I saw some sold on Poshmark for like 40 or $50. So I'm going to try it. Make sure you come back to my what sold videos and see if that sells. We hope it does. It has some shoulder pads in there. Um, we have a pair of democracy jeans again. These are size 12. Ab Technology. These are a gray blue pair. Skinny. Um, probably a high rise. I list pretty much all of my democracy at $35. I don't really look up styles. Someone asked me, how do you find the style? I don't. Their style numbers in the tag, they don't bring up anything. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. This is Judy Blue, one of my favorite jean brands to sell lately because it always sells fast. These are a size 28. They are a slim fit. They're a medium wash, distressed. Again, Judy Blue, I also list the same as democracy, $35, unless they're new with tags. Okay, that's just the two pair of shoes I already showed you. Maybe we're going to make it because we're on the last bag. Wow, this is shocking. And it doesn't have very much because it's a couple big coats. So this is a J. Crew men's coat in a size extra large tall. This is a wool, 80% wool coat. <coughs> and it's like a dark gray. So I sold a couple of men's coats in like L.L. Bean, I think, that were wool. They did pretty good, so I think this one will do good, too. I'm running out of room. And then I also got this coat. I think this one's a lemons, but it's new with Tags J. Crew. It's a size medium tall, which is my size. I just I don't think I'd wear this. Um, doesn't say a retail price, but this is the um, coated canvas barn jacket. So really cute. I could see this being sold in the spring since it is more of a lightweight jacket and it's colorful. So that was exciting. I still go through the coat section in the spring, summer. And then the last thing I got from the coat section was this brand, which I always forget how to say, Wanakami, Wanakomi, <laughs> made in Turkey, size small. Look for these patches on here because these can be faked. This is like a Teddy Sherpa, really cute uh, pullover snap um, sweatshirt sweater, whatever you want to say. So that's it for my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite piece was. I don't know. I feel like I got so much cute stuff. So I don't really know if, oh wait, duh, I'm stupid. Obviously. Obviously this is my favorite piece. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys on Friday for my what's video. Bye.